So this video is about how to help your child solve a word at home when they don't know how to read a word in the text. So this book, you haven't turned the pages, Ellie. So this story is about stories from the billabong. What's a billabong? Mm. It's about Aboriginal stories. A billabong is like a little, like a little lake or a, a, a river that's running by and it's a little river that goes off to the side of Billabong. I so thought, let's see what happens. I thought it was about Aboriginal. Yeah. The rainbow. So Ellie, is this word a difficult word for you? Mm, yeah. See if you can put your finger underneath the word and run your finger across it and try and get some sounds out of those letters that you've got there. What is it? And serpent. Good girl. Do you know what a serpent is? No, it's a big snake. Look at the picture. A serpent is a big snake. How else could you have worked that out? Looking at the? Maybe the picture could have helped you, couldn't it? You broke those words into small chunks of letters. That was good. I like the way you got ER. It says er, doesn't it? So if you go s, e, er, p, e, n, t, you don't get the word, do you? So we're trying to put it into chunks. So when your child gets to a word they, they aren't sure about or they, they, not, they don't know what it is, they can do quite a few things. They can break, if it's a small word, a three letter word in prep, they might go like cat, k, at. Don't go k, at, because then it's difficult for the children to put that back together to make a word. Saying it fluently is better. They can do a close check, which Ellie just did. When she put her finger under that word, she did a close check of the letters of the word. You can uh, use the picture as a clue to help you have a look at what that word could be. Okay, they can also get their mouth ready with the letters of the words, so and then get it into blends or chunks of sounds that they know. So serpent was a difficult word for Ellie. So she said s, er, she put the er together, p, and then she put the ent together. So s, er, p. Ent, serpent. She wasn't sure what the meaning of the word was, but she was able to work it out. So then we went into the text and had a look at the picture. We talked about what a serpent could be.